Hello, you're welcome. How to find x in this nice algebra problem? From here, we have x square over root 3 equals to root x from here. Then here, we can get rid of this root 3 here and then multiply both sides by root 3. So when we multiply this side by root 3, also we multiply this side by root 3. Root 3 will cancel root 3 here. We are left with x square, which is equal to here. You can also write this as square root of. We bring it together, and then we have 3 times x, that's 3x there. Then in the next step, we can try to get rid of this square root, and uh, we need to square both sides like that. So we square both sides. Then the square here, we cancel the square root here. And this power here multiplies, and we have x raised to power 4 which is equal to here we have 3x then in the next step we can bring 3x to this side and we have x raised to power 4 now minus 3x we then we equals to 0 here so here let's factor x out so we have x raised to power 3 minus 3 left here which is equal to 0 here then in the next step it means here we have two possible cases we have x equals to 0, then we have x raised to power 3, minus 3 equals to 0. Then from here, we already have x equals to 0. Then to find x here, we have x cube now equals to 3. When we take minus 3 here, then we can take the cube root on both sides to cancel this power of 3. So take the cube root on both sides. Then cube root cancel cube here, we have x now equals to cube root of 3. So that's there we have the value of x in that given problem, which can also be written as 3 raised to power 1 over 3. So here we have the value of x. Then to check from what we are given, let's quickly check from there. And when we substitute the value of x here, that is, we have x to be equal to 3 raised to power 1 over 3. So let's substitute that here now and uh, to see if this satisfies the given problem. Then that becomes 3 raised to power 1 over 3, that's x, then raised to power 2. Then divide by root 3 here, we can also write it as 3 raised to the power half. Is it equals to here? Is it equals to square root of 3 raised to the power 1 over 3? Then from here, this power multiplies and this will be 3 raised to the power 2 over 3. Then divided by 3 raised to the power 1 over 2. Is this equals to here? We can also write it as 3 raised to power 1 over 3, which is raised to power, you know, half from here. Then when we look at this from here, we have same base, and they are dividing from the law of indices. When we have a to power m over a to power n, and this is a raised to power n minus n. So when we apply that here, so this will be 3 raised to power 2 over 3. Then minus 1 over 2 is equal to 3 raised to the power 1 over 6 here because this power multiplies from here. Then the LCM here in the power here is 6. So we have 3 going 6, that's 2 times 2, that's 4. Minus 2 going 6, that's 3 times 1, that's there. 3 is equal to 3 raised to the power 1 over 6. And from here we have. 4 minus 3 is 1, so that's 3 raised to the power 1 over 6. And uh, is equal to 3 raised to the power 1 over 6. So here we have the left hand side equals to the right hand side. And uh, here we can now conclude that the value of x in this given problem is the same thing as 3 raised to the power 1 over 3, which we can write as cube root of 3. And thank you for watching. Subscribe for more exciting video. Turn on the notification bell. Share this video. Give it a thumbs up. And put your comment in the comment section. See you next class. Then.
Bye.